All right. Good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Akeem. Welcome to today's final scout report. Here to give you a report on a tight end who is a little bit underrated and could be a sleeper for this year's draft. From the FCS division, Michael Pruitt coming out of the Southern Illinois, a Saluki guy. I think this is he had a good career. He's actually hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, and he was a star in high school, a three-time all-conference player at the defensive end position, and he was the first team on all conference as a tight end before and going to on um, Southern Illinois. Now he actually redshirted during his um freshman season, but he definitely had a good four years straight ahead of him where he was actually one of the uh, top tight ends in the country. Now, throughout his career, he had over 2,600 yards receiving, and he even had over 800 yards this past year and 13 receptions for touchdowns this year. Now, this is definitely a good sleeper for this year's draft. Now, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, I mentioned the numbers, and he's actually the one, the, uh, one of the SES leaders for tight ends for most receiving yards and the only tight end in school history for to accumulate over 2,000 yards in school history. That is a great number for him. Now, definitely he has good hands to catch the football, and he definitely could give you some great um, um, great plays on um, um, catching the football and even some tough yardage after the catch. This is a tough kid who should be recognized a little bit. Now, another thing I do like about him is that he definitely can block a little bit. Now, even though his strength is not up to par, he only he had 17 reps at 225 pounds, but he definitely blocks at a solid place, so that shows that he could become a decent run blocker and even support the run, which shows his un unselfishness as a team player. That is a great trait about him. Now, he does have some weaknesses. Now, he did play in the FCS division, which is a lower division than FBS, but I still think this is a solid player. Now, also, so the level of competition is not really up to par. He didn't really have to deal with the elite players of the FBS, but I think that he definitely could keep up with decent of uh, the players of the FBS level. Another thing about him is his size. He does weigh 258 pounds, which is a not bad size at the tight end, but he's only six foot two. You just wish he was just, just a little bit taller, but he plays taller than what and than what that size is. Now he does have a 38 inch vertical leap, which was the best among the tight at the scouting combine and he had the best broad jump also the fastest 40 time he ran a 4 5 5 40 which is a great time at the scouting combine definitely deserved a little bit of recognition as people definitely scouts are definitely looking at him in the later rounds of this year's draft now where I actually project him entering this year's Entering this year's draft, I actually project him as a fourth or a fifth round pick for this year. He had definitely had great productivity, even though he did not play against a FBS school. He is from a lower division, but that doesn't matter. You could get a lot of gems from the FCS division or even lower. Look at Pierre Garçon, a Division Three player. But you can still get some solid players at different divisions, and he is one of the top quality players in all American. Definitely deserves some recognition. I think he will be a good sleeper in the fourth or fifth round of this year's draft. Now that wraps things up for today. The next time I'm going to catch you guys will be on Tuesday morning where I will give you more scout reports for next week's draft. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.